I think what they messed up with doing is it should have really felt like a 90s film. But the story that they had, I thought, was very interesting. They just they did not do a few things that could have taken it to the next level and made it like, oh, this is really good. That's a classic character. See, that's right. See, that's Tat. That's a classic character. It's completely stole the freaking show. I have to first preface by saying that I am not a Pixar fan. I don't enjoy most Pixar films. The only Pixar film that I've liked, not loved, is Toy Story 1. I didn't like Finding Nemo. I did not like Wally. I did not like freaking... I mean, it's up, 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 up in the air. Those are the Pixar films that's not, I'm not, I'm not, I've not liked them. So you have to understand this when I give my view on this. So I'm not a Pixar fan. I'm an old school Disney fan. Like for me, Bowser the Grey Master Detective and Robin Hood, they are forever goated, man. So, my general thoughts on this, just, you know, general simple thoughts. That was cool. That was pretty good. Not amazing. Not a classic. Not memorable. Nowhere near what Robin Hood or Bowser the Mouse Detective was. But I thought it was cool. You know, I thought it was cool. I mean, it's hard to take in the magic of Toy Story because that was such an amazing, great idea. And the, see, for me, I don't normally go and watch Pixar films because I'm like, eh, it's not my thing. But I thought, oh, yeah, this film make, may make sense. So, yeah, let's see the film where that toy is inspired from. So this isn't like, oh, it's like a prequel or a reboot or something. So no, it makes sense. Okay, this is now the film of where this thing was, was made. And I think they missed a trick. I think they missed a trick because for me, because when, because you see the opening, because again, this is not really real spoilers, but you see the opening and it says 1995. This is what it is based off of. They didn't really, they did it in a few bits, but they didn't really overdo the fact that this was in the 90s. And I think what they messed up with doing is it should have really felt like a 90s film. So would have seen stuff like VHS, maybe a laser disc, and a lot more stuff alluding to that this is a, a 90s movie. So they, they missed a trick there. That is where I think they really missed a trick. But beyond that, Chris Evans does a very good job with the um, boss voice. The, the characters I thought were really cool. The characters were really cool. I think Kiki Palmer plays, I think she she she, she plays like the, the main lead. Taiko Watiti plays um the, the, the other funny guy. And I see Taiko Watiti is just that I think his story is trash. He's a he's a pretty funny guy. He's got a very particular sense of him, which I think is actually pretty cool. And his character in this was cool. So I felt like the story was very interesting. It's a very interesting story. And I said, like, okay, you know, this is a pretty cool angle. And I think as it was going through, and what I liked about this is that it felt very unexpected. And that's why I like about stories. I hate films where you know what's going to happen. Okay, here's the emotional bits. Here's the lovely bit, blah, blah. But this felt like, this, oh, I don't really know what's going to happen. And there were so many twists and turns, story-wise, narrative-wise. I was like, oh, this feels really fresh. So I was like, you know what? Like, in terms of like a space movie without dealing with, with time, hyperspace, light speed... And manipulating the whole concept of time in universe and the universe and so forth and the whole space field because I'm a sci-fi junkie. I was like, oh, this is all right, you know, like this, this is actually pretty cool. Pixar animation, of course, it's it's, it's amazing and and so forth. Um, so for like this, I don't think for me Pixar can do any better than this. Really, like for me, Pixar, these Pixar films just don't have the kind of magic, the, the je ne sais quoi magic of let's say a Bowser the Great Mouse Detective or a um. What's it called? Robin Hood. Or even a... You, you can throw in like a beat in and the beast and so forth. Which are... Well, those are based off of other mo movies, you know. But I just think, look. Um, it was like... It was cool. The cats. Like, still the show. And the reason... See, I was fearful when I saw so many images of the cats. Because I thought it would be like a very cutesy cat that's like... Oh, la, 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 la. But that cat's character still the show. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Like, how they did the character... The voice, the characterization, and the moments that he has, hilarious. Like, that's, see for me, see, that's a classic character. See, that's right, see, that's Tat, that's a classic character. It's completely stole the freaking show. But I thought, look, overall, I thought it, it was cool, you know, and I think, like, obviously, the main bit was about Buzz working with this crew who are not really that good, and how he's able to see what's up with the, with the crew. So I thought, look, man, um, cool film. Like, cool film. Again, not amazing, not memorable, but, but you have to keep this in mind. This is coming from a non-Pixar fan. I don't like Pixar movies. And I'm sure people will think that I'm crazy for saying, I did not like Wally. I found that boring. I did not like Up, up, up in the Air. I just thought it was emotional manipulation. And I haven't watched Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Inside Out. It, oh yeah, I was a big fan of Finding Nemo. Cool, but I was, I was not a big fan of Finding Nemo. I think 
the reason why I like this, see, this is probably how I feel about most Pixar films, but the reason why this stands out is because Toy Story is my favorite of all the Pixar films. This is an interesting idea for a film, and I thought they did this pretty well. They could, it could have been better. Maybe I'll say, I'll say that for the spoiler review. There are a few things storyline-wise, narrative-wise, that they could have done to really hit home. But the story that they had, I thought, was very interesting. They just did, they did not do a few things that could have taken us to the next level and made it like, oh, this is really good. You know, this is really good sci-fi stuff. But overall, cool film. Pretty good. Um, enjoyed it, you know. Um, it was all right, you know. So, yeah, if you've watched it, tell me how you think about that movie. And I'll join in here for the spotter review and all the movie reviews afterwards. Peace!